When you're setting up a wireless LAN, what you'll need to do is you'll need to set up the channel and the service set identifier. You'll, ask, you'll also have to set up all your traditional network settings, such as an IP address, subnet mask, default gateway. You'll set a channel between 1 and 11, uh, or between 1 and 13 in Europe, to designate the frequency on which the network will operate. Remember, traditionally, in a direct sequencing spread spectrum environment, you want to use channels 1, 6, and 11, because those are non-overlapping. You'll send in the SSID, which is a 2 to 32 character alphanumeric string that is case sensitive that identifies the network. Basically, you'll set the name up so that people know what network to connect to. When someone is attempting to connect to the basic service set or associate with the access point, they go through two dis three distinct phases. They'll go through a phase where they are unauthenticated and unassociated. Then they'll get authenticated, but they're not yet associated. When you're authenticated, your machine has been accepted by the access point, but you are not yet allowed to pass data through it. A machine can be authenticated with several access points at once, but only associated with one. When we set up authentication, what we'll need to do is we'll have a station needs to provide the correct SSID, or we can go through shared key authentication, which is where someone will request to, uh, to authenticate. The access point will issue a nonce or a challenge. That challenge will be encrypted with the key, and provided that encryption is correct, they will be granted access.